Full disclosure, in my first month being monetized in YouTube in December, I only earned... Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk about lifestyle, personal finance, and investments. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of my more personal investments that I really heavily invested in in the last two years. I've never really stepped back to talk about this. Let's talk about my YouTube channel as a business investment. Before anything, I wanted to thank you guys for getting me through to the 1,000 subscriber milestone. I can't believe that there are over 1,000 of you who have chosen to subscribe to me. It's been a little over a month. It actually hasn't really sunk in just yet. I guess this has taken me by surprise because personally, I'm not really into artsy or craftsy stuff. I'm not very patient. I'm not into editing. I've never really been in front of the camera. So I'm really thankful for you guys out there. I started this channel in July 2020, a few months into the pandemic. It actually took me a little over 16 months to get this channel monetized. And though it's not been an easy ride, I'm glad to share that now I can finally consider this YouTube channel as a business, even though it's still earning really small. Beyond storytelling, I wanted to do this video because I wanted to share with you my reasons why I actually put up my YouTube channel as a business. And for those of you who are looking to invest in a new business, or perhaps you are just looking for a career change, or probably switching jobs, or maybe you're putting up your own YouTube channel, I hope this video gives you some insights and why I've chosen YouTube as my business out of the many things that I could have been doing, especially in the pandemic. So without further ado, let's go. So let's step back a little. Let's go into March 2020 when the pandemic started. At this time, I was heavily invested in my Airbnb business. I was managing a handful of condo units in Metro Manila. And also, as shared previously, I was managing a new no-frills property as an Airbnb in Port Barton in Palawan. Now, when I first started hearing about the possibility of lockdowns, I couldn't help it but panic. I knew that my business was really dependent on people getting around, staycations, vacations, so when the pandemic hit that restricted everyone from moving, I can't explain to you guys how much fear that actually drove into me with my main source of income being cut off. So rumors turned into reality. Just like that, my income stopped coming in. So the first instinctive thing that I thought of was probably I should get a job again. I mean, no more than two years before the pandemic, I've actually been working in e-commerce, digital advertising, banking, and telco as a few of the jobs that I actually moved around in when I was still employed and before deciding to be an entrepreneur full-time. So I considered that, but it wasn't really something that I really warmed up to. At the start of the pandemic, it felt like the world was really ending. I wasn't particularly motivated to earn working on something that I probably didn't care about. And the second reason why I didn't go back into employment was that I felt like I would probably just go in, earn the money, and eventually start looking for things that I could invest in again as a full-time business. So I thought to myself, why really go through all that trouble? Why go through that hassle when I could just face on being an entrepreneur right here, right now? And if I couldn't pivot my Airbnb tourism business, then I should find something that I could really invest myself in, not just money, but actually time, resources, and talent. So I wasn't going back to employment, now the harder part is, what business do I start? Trying out my luck in YouTube was actually not the first thing that I did. I actually tried to make and sell kombucha, I tried my hand in making cold brew coffee, and I even tried to resell wine here in our village. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, those things didn't work out. I felt like I wasn't really putting so much of me into those business anyway. I know a lot of you have actually been able to put together your Instagram businesses, but I felt like it wasn't for me. I guess I was always thinking about the limitations in scaling such businesses because you would need a lot of space. You would need a lot of manpower also if you actually got to that scale. And also, you would have to reinvest your profits into inventory or whatever it is that you're making or cooking. So I felt like those kinds of businesses just weren't for me. So eventually, out of sheer boredom and the pressure to do something, I decided to try my luck on YouTube. Now, even before I made that decision to go into YouTube, I remember thinking during the first month of the lockdowns that YouTubers actually had the best gig. 
realizing that everyone was stuck at home, people were either watching Netflix or YouTube. So while everyone had limited mobility, YouTubers and their back catalog were actually making good during the pandemic. So I was actually thinking to myself that it was somehow ironic that I'd actually worked hard to invest in a lot of tangible assets, a mortgage property, leased properties, and rented properties. These traditional forms of assets were actually of less value during the pandemic. And I thought to myself, I needed to be invested on the digital side of things. I needed some digital assets because in as much as I thought that I had a digital business through Airbnb, all the bookings came online, it still wasn't a digital business. So it was decided. I was gonna try my luck in being a YouTuber. Now again, I didn't have any experience in film editing, nor being in front of the camera. Wait. Our instances, our instance, our instance, our instances. But despite those challenges, I decided to follow through and really start investing in myself. Try learning new skills, try editing, and I also tried to learn how the YouTube algorithm works. I actually didn't think that it would take that much time and that much learning. But one of the main reasons that really kept me going into trying to get monetized in YouTube would have been my previous experience in businesses. They say that in YouTube, the average person gets monetized after about 820 videos. And if you were to upload a video once a week, that would actually come out to monetization coming sometime after your second year. Of course, there are people who have done it overnight, who have just been talented, who have just raw magnetism for YouTube. But I'm pretty much on the average side of things here. So knowing that the average YouTube aspirant will actually take about two years, I still continued because I felt like it was similar to other businesses anyway. Most businesses will actually yield you your return on investment in about three to four years. So I thought that a two-year ROI was probably something that I could work on, especially since YouTube is a low-cost business. I actually didn't buy a camera until two months ago. And you actually don't have to work with too much people. All you have to really do is invest in yourself to be able to understand how to please the YouTube viewing public. I hope I'm pleasing you guys. And I think the biggest factor why I thought investing in YouTube was totally worthwhile is the immense reach that your work can actually get you through. I mean, earlier I was talking about the limitations of a retail or distribution business wherein you're really limited by your physical resources and space, whereas YouTube is basically the business of going viral, of sharing an idea, information that may be helpful or entertaining, and you can get through to so many people through different countries just by basically putting in the same work over and over again. So it really appealed to me that once I got monetized, all my previous work on this channel would get monetized as well. So in terms of the return on investment, I felt that it was really far-reaching and worthwhile because your one work for one video can actually give you infinite returns, at least in theory. They say that you shouldn't get into YouTube for the money because yes, I could attest to that. Even as I monetize now, the money is just starting to trickle in. And when I say little, it's actually quite really small. Full disclosure, in my first month being monetized in YouTube in December, I only earned a little over $1 per day. So it's definitely not something that I could brag. But I'm sticking to YouTube. I'm gonna continue putting in the work. What's been great during this whole process, they say trust the process. For me, beyond trusting, you also have to enjoy the process. You have to accept it for what it is and be through it despite difficulties. I think YouTube is in many ways a transformational journey. I hope that doesn't sound too corny. I say that because honestly, I'm not exactly a person who likes to share. I'm actually quite private. I don't post so much on social media. I guess I like to keep my cards close to my chest. And I think that's been one of the earlier challenges that I encountered. Perhaps that's still one of the challenges that I'm continuing to encounter. But with YouTube, I've actually started to really opening up myself more. I realized that the more you put out there, the more you actually learn because you're having to shed you know, information and you have to keep updated, especially with investments in finance. I do get that pressure from you guys to learn new things, to be more accurate, to be more thorough. And I think it's been a great exchange 
even though this is my channel, I do value the inputs that you guys give. That's actually where I get a lot of my material from discovering new apps to discovering new funds, new platforms. And yes, that's not limited to just finance. Everything else that I've put out there, whether it's coffee, wine, cooking, or looking for new places to go, the exchange has been fruitful. And I hope to continue to hear from you guys as we really grow this channel. So thanks for sticking around for some storytelling today, guys. I hope there has been something that you've picked up, maybe in terms of a business mindset, or maybe just a change of careers, or whatever professional or personal challenges that you're going through. I hope this has been insightful. I didn't really want this video to be how to get monetized in YouTube, but if you want me to share a little bit about that, I still don't think I'm an authority here because it actually took me some time. But yes, if you want to know more about that, let me know in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and Happy New Year!